I'm here with Stefan Pongratz, who's Senior Director at Deloro Group. Stefan, welcome. Thank you. Now, you study the mobile infrastructure market. Uh, tell us how that market is performing this year, 2019, and also let's maybe look ahead to how you think things might change in 2020. Following uh, three years of uh, consecutive uh, declines in the RAN or the radio access network market, market conditions uh, started improving in the second half of 2018. And that uh, momentum and, and those trends, they've extended now to the first half of 2019. I mean, we estimate that uh, the market has advanced for four consecutive quarters now, year over year. For 2020, we're obviously excited about the 5G activity spreading across the globe. At the same time, <laughs> the, the comparisons will be uh, a little bit more challenging in, in 2020 because 2019 is coming in a little bit stronger. Do you see the vendor landscape changing much with 5G? Do you think there's, <laughs> yeah. do you think there's scope for, for competition there? It's going to depend a little bit on the, on the the, the types of 5G that we're, we're going to be, I mean, on the one hand, you have the 5G mobile broadband phase. In that, the 5G basis is they are connect, utilizing the LTE core network. So that kind of implies that it will footprint changes between LTE and 5G NR will be the exception rather than the norm. At the same time, I mean, 5G uh, will deliver new use cases, new business models. And uh, over time, the performance delta between virtualized and non-virtualized units should uh, decline somewhat. And that could form the basis for a new entry point or, or a reduced barrier to entry. What's your thoughts on where Huawei are, are playing in this space at the moment? They have a very deep and, and broad portfolio. I would say, at the lower, I mean, I focus on the radio access network. With Huawei, what we've seen when we add up all the revenue for all the different telecom related infrastructure areas, I mean, their share has grown from, let's say, in the 6% range in 2007 to now we estimate 28% for the first half of 19. So, and that's partly because they have such a broad portfolio and that will be important in, in, this, in this 5G world. And Huawei is clearly thinking beyond uh, this initial mobile broadband phase and doing everything it can to optimize its position for, for, for everything that entails. Yeah. The theme of this year's MBBF is 5G gear up. Yeah, yes. uh, I wonder what kind of your advice would be to telcos and vendors to enable the market to gear up for 5G. Now is the time to invest in automation to, to, to maximize your resources. There's going to be a lot of noise out there and you need to, you can't chase all the opportunities. You need to separate the signals from the noise and then finally you need, it, it's easier said than done, but do not sacrifice long-term value for a short-term profit. Yeah. So It's a long game. It's yeah, a long game, yeah, yeah. and it's, it's gonna, we have to recognize there, there are different faces and they're not all moving at the same pace, yeah. Stefan, great insight. Thank you very much. For Thank you very us. much for having Thank me.